is quite easy. Low range, first gear. Yeah. Low range, well, low range, first, first that's gear. That's it, first gear. Okay. Cool. And then down. Leave the brake. And so remember always with the automatic, it feels like it's running away. So if you want to, you can feather brake a little bit. And the Daniel descent? You can control? use it if you want to. Mm. Test it. But there's another obstacle where you can also test it. Actually, I want you to go down here without, without it. it. So you feel sure. what the car is doing. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. Straight, eh? Yeah, I'll tell you to turn. Turn my side. My side, my side, my side. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So, as Paul said, as soon as you enter a water crossing, you always make sure that your windows are open. Mm -hmm. Remove your safety belt. So, just remove your safety belt for me, please. Gradually let the water vehicle walk it into the water. You're going to go straight and you're going to start turning to the right now. Turn slightly down, just like that. Okay. So when you're entering and crossing, you always see your exit point. Yeah. So you see now where they've gone out over there. Yeah. You must aim that you, you follow that line. So you're going to basically just drive straight through the puddle. moves and it's bouncing your tension is going to kick in so you're not going to be able to get your safety belt back on again so just stop all momentum and then you put your safety belt back on cool okay. and tire's fine yeah just leave that line Got your um dundas or your heel descent control on? No, not at Switch it on. You can actually drive with it on. Okay. Yeah. It won't it won't affect anything that you do in the car. The moment you go down a hill, it'll automatically start and you can override it. It doesn't take control of your car. Okay. So you can always override it. You can either brake or you can accelerate. So it's not that it's taking over your car. It's there. Yeah. So the moment and it's it's normally your, your by default it's at three kilometers an hour. Okay, some of the cars you can adjust it off the cruise control and stuff like yeah. that. But normal default setting is three k's an hour. So what I want you to do is come forward. You the auto. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much easier. Come. And it's in first. Okay. So what I want you to do is come forward. As you go down, you're gonna straighten out. Okay. And I want you to leave the brake. Okay. Leave the brake. Let the so system do the work. Start straightening now. Oh, yeah, you can just come like that. A little bit to your right. To your right. On your right. On your right. There you go. Right.
Uh, which way do I go? Uh, up here. Just go around the rocks. Alright, oh, around the rocks. Thank you. Pleasure.
Bate, bate.
feels it. Good enough? Yeah, you feel it. Yeah. That's why we're here. Feel it. Feel what the tire does. Because that's the thing most people don't understand. Feel what the tire is. It's an important thing. People just think, oh, well, just go. Yeah. You need to feel what it does. Okay. 100%. Cool. Just constant. Straight for just him. constant, yeah. We'll show you. But you're in the right line. down like that yeah so just look at him keep him centered in your car all right keep your hands attentive to it at all times cool all right gradually feather the brake there's no rush This uh, button makes it no fun. <laughs> Little seat control. Yeah, it's so it's um, like holds the, it. The traction control system on this car is actually very good, mm. but you've got to learn how to drive it. 